Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John Math Tube. This is lesson number 5 in study with me for probability and statistics. One very important thing. We have kept all the videos related to probability and statistics for you. It is already there. Just go to YouTube and find our channel and then go to playlist and just scroll down and you find engineering probability and statistics. Even though the name is Engineering Probability and Statistics, it is designed for most of the bachelor's courses. So, find this playlist and watch the videos related to your syllabus. Anyway, let's move on to our topic. So, in the last day we learned about deciles, percentiles and all those things. Today, we are going to do the same thing, but from now on, it will be for type 2, type 3. Now, type 2 means it is a frequency distribution. Basically, there is no difference between type 1 and type 2. But the way you write, can you see? In type 1, we used to write like 20, 20, 20, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, like that, like that we used to write. But here, they have arranged according to the number of times it repeats. So it means 20 repeats 3 times, 25 repeats 4 times, etc, etc. So finding the mean, how do you find the mean? Let's go through the formula method. If you go through the formula method, you have to find the sum of all the numbers. You have to find the sum of all the numbers. So basically it will be 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 25 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30. Oh, wait a minute, why am I doing like that? I can simply say 20 multiplied by 3. That is why you learn multiplication. So the formula goes like summation of the x values multiplied by frequency divided by total number of frequency. Did you get the point? It's the same thing like in type 1. Anyway, you can use your calculator. But when you use your calculator, put your calculator into one variable not two variables. I've seen so many beginners make that mistake. This is not two variable. There is only one variable. You should not even see this part as a variable because the data set is only about mark in this example. So there is only one variable that is like 20, 20, 20, 25, 25, 25, 25, etc, etc. So put your calculator into one variable. Turn on frequency and plug in the data and as usual we used to do find the mean now for mode for mode this is so easy what do you mean by mode the most repeated value so i already found the mode 30 because 30 repeats seven times now in the case of median do you remember when it comes to median, percentile, quartile, decile, etc. We express everything in terms of the percentile. So what we do is we go for the index. Those who do not know index have not watched the last video. So watch that video first. So index will be median means percentile 50. And index will be 50 divided by 100 multiplied by how many data values are there? Don't tell me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is wrong. You have 20, 20, 20 means already 3 data values. Plus 4, plus 7, plus 2, plus 3. How much? 19. So that will be 9.5. Now do you remember if the index is an integer, then Oh, wait, 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 wait. There is a problem. How will I find the ninth data value? Because last time we used to arrange. But this is already arranged. Can you see? The data set is like 20, 20, 20, 25, 25, 25, 25. So can you see? What is the fourth data item? The fourth data item is 25. What is the fifth data item? It is 25. But no need to write it like a list. You will create something called 
the cumulative frequency by the way the word cumulative comes from accumulation you keep on collecting and collecting and collecting frequencies so 3 uh, 3 plus 4 will be 7 then 14 15 16 17 18 19 now the information that I find from here is I can understand the first three data values are 20 then I understand data value 4 to 7 that is the fourth one fifth one sixth one seventh one will be 25 data number 8 to 14 that is data 8 9 10 11 12 up to 14 will be 30 so uh, here we got the index as 9.5 so the required quartile quartile 2 or median or percentile 50 will be the 10th data value if you are wondering how just watch the previous video and that means we need the 10th data value because there are two possibilities it can be an integer it can be a decimal so we need the 10th data value and from the cumulative frequency I know that it is 30 okay so they have given by the way this is a miscellaneous question from type 1 not type 2 it is not frequency so they are asking uh, this is from your past paper uh, they asked this as question number one for six marks I guess you can check the past papers okay now they are talking about range range talks about deviation so you can see in section 1 the mark is 1 then 20 20 20 20 20 so the range for section 1 is 20 minus 1 that will be 19 so range for section 1 now range for section 2 is you have to find the biggest value what's the biggest value 19 the smallest is 2 so the answer will be 17 now when you look at this range I feel that the first data is more dispersed because bigger the range if I say the price of this pen is uh, like what you call thousand rupees then that is the exact value but if I say the price of this pen will be between thousand to ten thousand then I am giving you a range a range can be small a range can be large and larger the range you will be more confused or you feel that the data is spread more once more let me tell you if the range is bigger then you have to understand that the data is spread more okay now what do the range values lead you to conclude about the variation I already told you my conclusion is data one seems to be spread more just imagine if you don't know the data that is what you will conclude here we have the data so we know that it is not spread more most are like 20 okay now why is the range misleading think about it the range is misleading because one data value went extreme one data value went extreme because since you know the data we can understand that the second one is dispersed here and there the first one is kind of like stable 20 20 20 20 20 20 only one data value gave that trouble okay now standard deviation come on take your calculator put one variable uh, or you can use two variables also because if you want you can get used to it but if you are not comfortable you can do it one by one one variable frequency should be off because it's not mentioned sample uh, let's go for the what do you call population standard deviation because they have given two different sections they have not mentioned anything about sample let's go for the population standard deviation 5.46 for the first one and 6.42 for the second one now look at this when I look at this standard deviation I can understand that this is less dispersed and which is the truth this is more dispersed and this tells me standard deviation is can be trusted more than the range 
both are used to measure the deviation or dispersion but i feel standard deviation can be trusted more because extreme values this is like too extreme even extreme values are not uh, like what you call able to affect or the it's not giving any trouble to the standard deviation now let's go to the next question you can try this uh, now i'll wind up this video uh, if you know anyone is facing difficulty in mathematics please contact us and as always support us like our channel comment and share it with your friends so i'll be back with more videos so till we see bye